All right, part two of uh, what is gravity, a visualizable uh, exploration into what is gravity. Um, I was saying that the gravity field and uh, for that matter, magnetic field or um, charge field, um, all change space okay just like Einstein was saying um, the you know gravi gravity is is a uh, warping of of space it's change you know mass changes the geometry of space so I w just want to think about how that would work say um, for charge or a magnetic field as well first and then um, go back to looking more in depth at how a gravity field um, might have something to do with changing the shape of space. So let's suppose you had um, uh, two negative, uh, negatively charged particles, and and normally when we think about um, polarization. The polarization is usually something like this, where it's canceled, and something like this, where it's, um, you know, like polarization. So, just, you know, in a way of a rough demonstration, like charges would be polarized in such a way that they would repel, and uh, opposite charges would be polarized like this so that they could attract. So, the same kind of thing um, could not happen with gravity because the, <laughs> there's masses aren't unlike. Masses are like each other. So you couldn't have um, every other object just so happens to have a, a, a different polarity. I mean, even that wouldn't work. Every object has to have <coughs> something similar. So the way that gravity would change and basically when I say changing sp the shape of space um, that's also kind of a, a rough term because there's probably something much more sophisticated going on in terms of the <coughs> the quantum foam the zero point energy space that's what's getting changed there's something about the character of the um, zero-point energy field that um, is getting changed by a magnetic field or charge or gravity but these things can't change it in the same way um, because what I was just saying about the all massive things are going to change it in a similar in a similar fashion and that's why I came up with this little illustration here and basically you have the matter drawing from the quantum zero point energy field and um, circulating something back into the field non-locally so what it would be like very similar to um, a circulation pump where whatever this characteristic is, is being um, drawn into the matter and it just doesn't stay there it has to circulate through because because if it stayed there then the, this illustration I was showing you from um, Feynman's book with the the earth and the sun I'll show you that again um, there's a little earth and sun and your gravity field is actually pushing at that point it's not pulling um, and the attraction is caused by the by the the more sparse, uh, like a low a low um, density field in between the Earth and the Sun. So that's the way I'm looking at this. I'm saying there this somehow um, matter um, is affecting the density of the quantum zero point space, um, but it has to. It can't just um, be like 
a, a, a low pressure system that gets filled up and then it reaches equilibrium, it has to be something that can cont that's continually circulating uh, somehow in order to keep that imbalance going and in order to keep you know um, you on your seat or objects to the floor and so forth. Um, and this is how I'm I'm saying we should visualize um, gravity so that it, it's no longer sort of some kind of tether <laughs> because that's everybody knows well the, the tether thing doesn't really seem to to make sense um, you would be cutting the tether um, say if you flew an airplane <laughs> or anytime you did even you know moving your arm across um, somehow that's that idea doesn't work as a visual so I'm trying to come up with an idea that would work as a visual and then can be explored um, experimentally or mathematically. Now I'm not exactly sure how you um, go about exploring it um, experimentally um, because we already see that it's behaving like um, a, a low pressure system um, but there could be something done um, say in the Kashmir field um, scale that would um, give some credibility to this to this um, theory that I'm coming up with here um, so anyways that's my brief uh, vi visualization of, of what gravity is um, and maybe you know somebody uh, has some ideas that they, that they would like to um, um, share like maybe why <coughs> what I'm saying doesn't work I, um, and I mean something seriously not just that well that's not what people are saying right now that doesn't <laughs> that's not that's not um, an important criticism it has to be something that um, is um, logical not not popular so um, anyways that's what I thought I w wanted to share because um, that question what is gravity what actually is happening in, in you know a gravitational field what's actually happening in a magnetic field um, has been around um, ever pretty much since Newton and even when Einstein says you know it's um, um, space time warping um, you still have to be able to say well why what is it about <coughs> space that um, how does it get affected by matter in such a way that for instance as the earth orbits the sun it actually seems as if um, space is providing a rigid track for the orbit and um, I mean that's the kind of force that's, that's taking place because it's actually <laughs> it's actually keeping something as massive and fast moving as the earth in, in, in a particular track so that's how we got to you know try to visualize something that's actually going to um, um, provide that force I mean Einstein said that you know the geometry changes well if geometry changes um, there's got to be a way for it to restrict uh, there's got to be a mechanism what's the mechanism for it to actually restrict the, the path of, of matter okay in order of light for that matter what, what, what there's got to be there's got to be a mechanism to it um, and that's what I'm saying that's what that's the whole explore, exploration here that's the whole question what what's the actual mechanism what's going on now the Higgs field is is this idea that um, different particles um, get slowed down at different rates um, when they in, um, engage the Higgs field uh, which is an interesting it's an interesting model it's kind of similar to to the kind of thing I'm talking about um, where there's something actually actually providing um, a force on the massive on the massive particle and a low pressure um, field in um, low pressure cashmere force or um, pressure imbalance in the zero point uh, quantum foam I think uh, could provide a visualizable explanation.